Hi there, this is Billy. Today is Sunday. So I thought about hiking with my crystal radios and doing some field tests and I'll share the video with you. We'll talk about how to hook up the antenna in the wild and also the ground. I'll use this crystal radio building block that I created to demonstrate to you different type of crystal radios from the simplest without tuning to the ones that are more complex. Look at all these crystal radios that I brought up to the hill. I'll show it to you Hi there, one by this is one. Billy. This is where I test my crystal radio. Here is our view uh, over the sea there, just behind the beaches. There's a tiny island on the right hand side called Peng Chao. You can see on this map. Peng Chao is where one of the AM medium wave broadcasting station is located. Uh, we'll travel to this area through the lake and then we'll walk a few steps. We will be there. Here is the park. We need to walk up uh, this road to go there. If you ever visited Hong Kong, you can also go here to try out your crystal radio. After hiking for about 20-30 minutes, finally close to there. You just need to take a stop here to take a breath. Walking up these stairs and I will be at the location very soon. Here we are. Look at the tiny island behind the bridge on the right. That's where the transmission station is. I've unloaded my gears and put them on the table. Then I started pulling my very thin antenna. It's made of just 0.5 millimeter wire hanging on the trees. If you can see it, there's a tiny red line going up the tree and then coming to my radio. This is the crystal radio building block. I invented it and just changed some of the components to those used by crystal radio, like the diode or even the crystal itself. A lot of people ask me, where is the crystal? Where is the crystal? Now I will show you the crystal. So let's take a closer look at the antenna. This is the antenna hanging on the trees. And then this is the ground. The black wire is the ground. I just connect it to the stand over there that uh, goes deep into the earth. And it's a piece of big metal, so it itself will have a lot of radio signal. Let's start with the simplest crystal radio. Just the headphone connected in parallel with the diode. And then connecting the antenna and the ground to either end of the diode. Because there are no tuning circuit, no coil, no variable capacitor, the radio just pick up every station available from the antenna. Now let's change the circuit a bit from a parallel connected diode to a series connected diode. Now let's start adding the coil and the variable capacitor. So it's already there in the building block, the white knob there. So let's see it. You see it's the ability to tune to one station and get resonance on it maximize the outputs and now it is much better. We can switch to different type of diode and the output will be similar. 
Can even put in a super bright LED as a detector, and it will blink and detect at the same time. Things have affected the entire country. But young people have been hit the hardest. She's been taking questions from reporters in Parliament. Meanwhile, Facebook says it's taken down one and a half million videos of the Christchurch mass shooting. I'm not sure why. This is a conventional red LED. Now here comes the crystal, the tiny one. Tuning a crystal is an art. You need to find the right switch spot. The piece of metal that touches the crystal is called a cat whisker. It cannot be too tight, otherwise you will never hear anything. Next, I'll start swapping different type of diode. This is 1N34A, so we need to adjust the impedance. At the top, there's the impedance matching transformer on one end, is the high impedance on the other end, close to the top of the screen, is the lower impedance. So we match the input, uh, which is the output of the 1N34A, to around 5K or 10K. I think 10K got the loudest output. For the connection to the earbud, I'm using a read earbud of around uh, 800 ohm total. So I'll connect to the other end at 800 ohm. This is HSM2820, another high impedance diode. You can see the signal is quite strong. The micro ampere meter at the top is having full swing. Uh, it's maximum 50 micro ampere. So having a full swing, that means anything over that. I guess it will be at least 200 micro ampere. Let me replace it with another HSM, this time HSM 2850. So I'm told this one is much better than 2820. Okay, let me swap it with another diode BAT85. Switching to 2AP9, one of the diodes that uh, Chinese radio hobbies love to use. Let me try my crystal again. For crystal, you need to keep finding the best spot by touching it and moving. Now switching with 1SS106, which is a very high output, low impedance diode. Very good for both AM and FM crystal radio. Now switching with 1SS86, 
Yes, yeah, similar performance as one SS 106. I'll try the LED again to uh, brighten the crystal radio up. Let's see whether it will blink when it detects. This is my lipstick crystal radio. It tunes by a variometer instead of a variable capacitor. So you move the lipstick, turn it, and then it pulls the forest in and out of the coil to tune to the next station. This is my other AM and FM crystal radio. You can tune to both uh, at this by switching the knob there. This is how it looks inside. According to organizers, turning up the heat on the political crisis that has consumed the country since last year. Witnesses told Reuters that some protesters who gathered at various points in Managua, the capital, were beaten by police who, since November, have enforced a ban on street protests. Videos circulating on social media. This is my toy train crystal radio. Again, it's a very long term crystal radio. You pull and push the forest stick between the radio. One amazing thing about this is you can split the toy train into two halves and the radio will still work. Okay, that's it for today. If you like my video, please subscribe or send it to your friends who can subscribe too.